Ah. Today we're going unboxing and reviewing the GTEC i20. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I hope everything is fine with you. It's always nice to see you watching this video. I received today the GTEC i20 printer sent by GTEC for assembling and review on this channel. I will tell you my honest opinion of this machine. I will indicate its pros and cons. But for now, let's unpack the printer and see what's inside the box. The first thing we have when we open the box is the package content list and the assembling instructions. Also a manual how to level the bed. Links for download the user manual and technical support. A nice build plate sticker. Completely assembled Z and X axis for quick and easy assembling. The printer brings a bottom tube on a hot hand. All step motors are already assembled too. Power cable, spool holder, memory card and bolts spatula USB cable and a spare bowden tube, zip ties and filament, a free mouse pad. The print volume for this printer are 255 mm on all axes, which are a reasonable print volume. The printer didn't bring a removable build plate, just the sticker to stick directly to the aluminium bed. Of course, I don't will put the sticker directly. Later, I will get the glass to put the sticker to be removable. Now let's go analyze what is inside this box and put all parts together. Inside the box, we have found the G2560 board from GTEC, which is using at Mega 2560's at its core chip. The memory on this board is 256 key, which allows you having modern firmware installed with many features. Have a capacity to six step motor drivers and can be operated in a single or multi extruder. The step drivers are the A4988. To my surprise, I found a MOSFET. The sister GTEC i10 doesn't have this MOSFET that pass the energy to hit the bed directly from the power supply. That MOSFET protect and save our barn, and it's more easy to replace in case of malfunction. Well, but the surprise do not end, inside the box I found a 24 volts power supply from Minwell. This is a good and consistent power supply for a printer, definitely the power supply I like to have in my printer. Now let's put our frame parts together. To assemble the Z and X axis, we just need to tie these four bolts on the bottom. The frame is very easy to assemble. I take just 5 minutes to put all parts together. The frame are assembled, now let's go connect the electronics. We have a connector for all parts on the hot hand. Connecting the extruder step motor. Connecting the X end stop. Connecting the X step motor. Connecting the Z step motor. Connecting the Z end stop. Let's mount and connect the filament runout sensor. To mount the filament runout sensor, just unscrew this bolt and put in place the filament sensor and put again the screw and tighten. 
Definitely, I like this feature on the machine. The wheels have a dual bearings for a good stability. All axes work smoothly. The printer are completely assembled. Let's stick the sticker on the bed. What are you doing, man? Here I write. I will leave this to stick on the glass build plate. For now, I will improvise my build plate with the tape to make my test print. I will print directly on this tape. I will do the manual bed leveling, later I will put here my auto bed leveling system, link on the video description. The printer has a full graphics display and Marlin 1.1.8 installed. Now I will put the memory card and print the example that comes with the printer. And let's see the noise it makes from the drivers and fans. Printing completed. I use it GTEC Fullman. This blue is beautiful, I like it a lot. The print came out wonderful, without any defects, the layers are perfect, not even the ZC marks I could find in the print. In the dog ears, the blower did an excellent job, no overhanging detected. I also print our Benji, which also came out very well, but with some salmon skin on the cabin. That can be solved with tail smoothers. Let's start with the cons. The printer doesn't bring a removable build plate. I think this will be the most negative point of the printer. The drivers are not silent. This can be solved with the step motor dampers or just simply change the drivers. The pros are the minimal power supply is an excellent value for your printer. The build volume are 260 by 260 by 260 millimeters. Have a MOSFET to hitting the bed. 256 flash memory space, space for 6 step drivers, a full graphics LCD and overall this set prints very well. This printer costs around 300 euros and for a set of this price we have a good choice here. If you want to buy this printer I will leave the link on the video description. And guys if you like this video give that thumbs up subscribe the channel and ring that bell when i upload the new content you get a notification and thank you for watching this video and see what the next one until there a big hug to all of you bye